the bank that money it was like fire on the mountain in the bank and the people are you have to all the people who stay with you must sign an undertaking there must be police station i said for what oh we have to check this an indictment on the integrity of the bank the bank manager my account officer several people we now sat down for a meeting and the meeting was okay who do you know the last how many you know how bankers ask all kinds of questions and the holy spirit asked me what am i doing here? i'm trying to give, protect the having millions just vanish on a sunday um, the person he was somebody who stole using the, the switch all these guys who do all these things There is nothing God has given me today that if he calls for, I will not give him. Believe me, I'm not just, this is not a preacher, you are spiritual people. You can't imagine the things he has, he has demanded that I've said, yes sir. It is you with all joy. Do you know for many years, God would not allow me buy a car. I needed it for ministry, but for some reason, I would bless people and do all this but I remember one time you've heard my story I stood in front of this car stand negotiated with them I wanted to buy a car that would be useful for traveling around and God asked me what I was doing there and I left true story there was a time my account was hacked millions were taken out of it and I was having I mean the bank that morning it was like fire on the mountain in the bank and the people are you have to all the people who stay with you must sign an undertaking there must be police station i said for what oh we have to check this an indictment on the integrity of the bank the bank manager my account officer several people we now sat down for a meeting and the meeting was okay who do you know the last how many you know how bankers ask you all kinds of questions and the holy spirit asked me what am i doing here i'm trying to protect the, i mean millions just vanished on a sunday um the person, he was somebody who stole using inter-switch. All these guys who do all these things. And then while I was there, the Holy Spirit asked me, is it my money or is God's money? I said, it's his own. He said, if I trust him, I should stand up and walk out. And I told him, I said, this is the end of it. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. I said, it's my money. It's over. Case closed. Don't tell me you love God. What? When you say you love God, let me see the sacrifice on your altar. If there is nothing there, just keep quiet. You are talking absolute nonsense. You provide the fire. I'll provide the sacrifice. We are going to pray. You provide the spirit. And I will open up inside. Feel me up. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. I remember leaving the bank and such joy and peace that I could not describe just flooded me. Haven't parted away with millions that will never come. And I was happy. I remember years ago in Port Harcourt, when the Lord gave me an assignment to carry everything I had and sow it as a seed. I didn't have much, but it was still precious to me. I put everything plus my rechargeable lantern, zipped everything and laid my hands on it and prayed in tongues for three hours non-stop. When I was done, I dragged it to church. There was an overflow and I sat down outside and God decided to disgrace me. As people were dropping their seats, he asked me to wait. When everybody was done, he now said I can come. True story. True story. That was how I held my bag. Imagine somebody coming behind with your bag. That was really Isaac. The one you have been given is Ishmael. That's why you gave it first. The day you give Isaac, you will know it was Isaac you gave. When I dragged that bag and I dropped it at the altar, something died in me. I went back and I sat down outside and I it now occurred to me what God told Abraham you have done this for me I swear by my name that in blessing there are people who are operating under a sworn blessing you don't know what moves them and opens doors like this it's beyond just prayer request it's beyond just having faith and believing God they have done something with God that has made God to vow a vow 
God has opened doors that only him can close because of sacrifice are we together this is true I made up my mind that all that this all that will be required while I was in Zaria people gave me all kinds of suggestions why don't you relocate go abroad do all this there are many wonderful things what is Zaria for God's sake you have what are you this is where he wants me to be when God asked me to move to Abuja I struggled with God for three years three three years God is this you let me not make any decision I'm not I'm comfortable where you have put me and I'm, I love you for three years hallelujah I have met all kinds of things our plane was the last to leave London when when we arrived and they declared lockdown it was the last if I delayed I would have been trapped in UK for three months roaming around doing what will I be doing there it's not my place of assignment What kind of vacation will you do for three months? As soon as I arrived, I remember them calling us and saying, all the people who were in that plane, most of them had COVID. And they said, wherever you are, report yourself so that they would check you because by that time it had gone so far. I moved in the midst of people with COVID. There is no reason why I should not have had it. No reason no human reason not just from the king all through interacting with them these are realities that only happen to lovers there are things that if you don't love god you would think people are lying god will carry the prayer point of someone and give you as a love gift the same way a man can buy a house and an estate and say my dear wife for standing with me i just want to tell you that i love you and you'll be angry and say who is she that you are giving her an estate? Ask the man who she is. For some of you, as you begin, it is not difficult to get the land for the church. It is not difficult to get the money. All these things will make it look as if God's power, it is our lack of love for him. By the time you allow him to purify the corruption that is in your heart and you are motivated by love, believe me, there are many things you will not need to pray for. When the lover arises, the Bible says jealousy is the rage of a man. There is no responsible husband that someone will touch and be intimidating his wife and the man will be watching. When you truly become that bride indeed then you see how responsible that husband is he will open doors for you beyond imagination this is my testimony and this is consistent with scripture the things god is doing in and through my life today is not necessarily a measure of competence and human manipulation and skills for no man can do these things except God be with him. There are some results that are not within the realm of men. You cannot have it except God is with you. Enugu, my message to you this afternoon is that you return back to the place of love and passion. Some of you, that is how you started. Somewhere along the line, you got distracted and you started focusing on other things, reputation, you started focusing on church ministry can be an idol spiritual activities can become an idol except and unless it is motivated by love and then more than being motivated by love or in addition to be motivated by love your desire must be to see